Hey guys, One Fit Bruja here, and today I am back with a banishing spell for you guys. It's simple, and it's something I like to do during the new moon to help start over and get rid of old energies and bring in new things that I'd like to manifest into my life. You don't necessarily have to do this during the new moon. It's one of the lunar phases that I like to use. I think it's uh, it goes fairly well with getting rid of things and starting over, so that's why I like to do it when the new moon is, is going through its cycle. But you don't have to. You can do this any day that you feel like you need to make a change happen, and this will help you do that. But you have to have your mindset in the right place in order for your spell, of course, to work and for you to actually change and have these things come into your life. So I know I said I was going to do the come to me oil. I'm actually missing a few ingredients that I would normally use in it. And I want to show you guys the one that I make, not how everyone else makes theirs, because it's always going to be different depending on the witch who makes their oils. And I want to show you guys how I make my own, my own personal oil. So I'm going to get those things and then I will do the video. I haven't forgotten. And I also got a request for the success spell. So I'm probably going to do that right after I do the come to me oil. I'm a little late on these things and I know that, but um, I haven't forgotten. Just letting you know. Okay, now with that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So uh, let's get into it. I have an orange candle burning just for the season, but you'll need a white one for this, and I like to burn dragon's blood when performing the spell. We need a cauldron, a piece of paper, and if you would like to smudge yourself and items before you start, then some sage and a pen. Alright, so I'm going to smudge my altar and my items and myself before I start. This part isn't really too necessary since I am burning dragon's blood and that clears things out by itself, but I felt like doing this anyways. Once you have saved yourself and your items and your area to your liking, go ahead and grab your pen and your paper and write down a list of things that uh, you notice that have been a problem for you in your life. I like to do three because I like to work in threes and plus it's not an overwhelming number. It's not like you're going to have to focus on nine to twelve things at once and feel overwhelmed and then lack the change that you need in your life. So I think three to six is a good number to change. Plus, make sure these are things that have been like deep-rooted issues for you, not superficial issues. We're talking about deep down what has been troubling you. Once you've completed that, you are going to fold your paper three times away from you to let the universe know that you want to get rid of these things that no longer serve you, to give them back. You don't need them anymore. Now that you've done that, you're going to chant your incantation. I banish what no longer serves me. Remove this negativity that only hurts me. I say this about three times, and then I will light my piece of paper on fire. As my paper is burning, I like to picture all the things that have been troubling me just burning away into the wind, and then I will place it into my cauldron. 
will then meditate over my cauldron as my paper burns and chant my incantation roughly three more times until it's completely burned down. So when I'm done with my banishing spell, I like to release the ashes into the wind, so just let the universe take it away, take away the things that don't serve me anymore. Or you can release them into a stream or a river, and if you don't have either one of those options, you can bury your ashes too, you can dispose of them into the garbage if you wish. I mean, you're still either way disposing of them, you're getting them gone so they can't taunt you anymore and affect your life in the negative ways that they have been. So the spell is pretty simple. As you can see, it only took a few things. And something I would like to add in here is if your, uh, your paper that you put into the cauldron didn't burn down all the way, that means you're still having trouble letting go. I would focus more on why you're having trouble letting these things go, so then you can do it again next time and then have your paper burn all the way through. I only put three things, you can put as many as you need to put, but these aren't going to be superficial things as far as your exterior goes. This is going to be things that you're diving deep with into yourself that you notice don't serve you and you need to get rid of, like low self-esteem, maybe you're depressed a lot and having trouble breaking it, you got bad eating habits, kind of like what I wrote down on there. Uh, it can be a lot of things, things that are similar to what I just mentioned. You're having trouble breaking, so this would be very good to do to help break those things. So don't forget to put forth the effort into breaking these things. It's not gonna, you're not gonna magically wake up the next morning and have everything be better. That's not how it works. You have to put forth the effort and you have to be in the mindset that's willing to change when you do this. So you can't just burn this little piece of paper and burn all your woes away, it doesn't work like that. This will help put you in the right direction, so just remember that. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video, and I promise I will um, get the come to me oil and the success bell up as soon as I can. Things at work are a little crazy right now, so I'm going to try and stick to the uploading a video once a week like I have been, so just bear with me. I'm going to try my best. So, until next time, I will see all you lovely little brujitas later.